Welcome to all our parishioners and our visitors here to Corpus Christi Parish Community. Let us love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind, serving our neighbor with love and actively participating in the Eucharist. Our main celebrant this evening is Father Tom, and assisting him is Deacon Bob. Let us joyfully celebrate Mass by singing together hymn number or hymn in Christ alone. Thank you. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today the psalmist beautifully prays, uh, we can tune in our lives with, uh, with the psalmist, I love the Lord, and I love the Lord my strength. The Lord is uh, the rock and the refuge for us, uh, let us surrender our hearts and minds towards him so that we receive his grace and his mercy and his protection. Bless you. Lord Jesus, you deliver us from the power of evil. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us the great commandment of love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the eternal sign of the love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to your everlasting life. Thanks. 
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit to what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If you ever wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, in the strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be, my, be God my Savior. You who have great victor, given great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction, with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be 
with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I recall in 2002, uh, when I came from India traveling to the airports, uh, the signs were different. So there were different lanes. If you are a U.S. citizen, you go into this lane for your, your clearance, port of entry. I, was, cause I came in Boston at that time, traveling through India to um, Rome and then to Boston. So the lanes, if you're a US citizen, go into this line and for verification of your documents. And there was another line uh, for the um, for permanent resident. If you're a permanent resident, go into that line. And then there used to be a line called aliens. So I kind of, there's no other lane, you know, I'm not a US citizen yet at that time not a permanent resident and just just coming so so I was treated as an alien <laughs> so I felt I'm not an alien I'm not from the other world <laughs> so that lane was there in the airport and uh, luckily it's gone now <laughs> it's no more there I think after a few years maybe people realize that that's not a good sign to welcome people um, so now it's visitors you can see if you're a visitor, you know, you can go into this lane. So reading to the first passage, they thought, wow, why does the passage say like that? Maybe they must have listened to that passage. So don't uh, ill-treat, you know, using uh, maybe milder language, where Exodus, book of Exodus, very strong language. And direct says, don't molest, don't oppress, you know, don't ill-treat your aliens. So anybody who thinks who is different than you, so generally, I think the, the word's old meaning is anybody who is different than you, you know, by way of culture, by way of locality, by way of nation, all different categories. So we kind of distinguish people different ways. But, um, so maybe they must have taken that word seriously, uh, officious and they removed, completely removed that lane. And um, so there was another the story of um, one of our Hispanic uh, choir director, you know, of uh, Gabby Gabriela. Her father died last week, uh, 70 years old, of heart attack, sudden death. And uh, so his, her family, uh, her mom and family of uh, four children are here for the last 15 years. But he couldn't, he couldn't come. He tried many a time to get the visa because of our broken immigration system and troubles and, and uh, so even on humanitarian grounds while she was, my wife got sick and still he couldn't get the visa so they were really heartbroken to see that uh, they couldn't see their dad before he died you know so so a lot of heartbreak situations uh, uh, happened and you know there are many stories we are aware or we are not aware you know many stories happens we know it's about time to fix the immigration system which need to be comprehensive in all levels uh, as you know for uh, for us Pope Francis when he came to United States especially addressing the Congress he said like this he said uh, in this continent we are all foreigners or we are all in this continent we were all once foreigners 
Therefore, we cannot be afraid of foreigners or we cannot ill-treat or we have to treat them as if one among them. And that is the sentiment uh, especially Moses expressed uh, towards uh, to the Israelites, told them basically, uh, you know, when they began to ill-treat to the other uh, tribes and other people other than Jewish population, he, 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 he received this word from the Lord saying, you shall treat your alien, you shall treat your neighbor. Even in course of time we know that evolved those uh, hospitality to the other was uh, a continuous theme in the Bible. A continuous theme in the Bible, we hear the stories of Abraham, eventually when he was hospitable to the unknown person, the unknown person who showed up asking for food and shelter. They were in fact angels. The three unknown invisible angels, three guests were angels, and then and they blessed Sarah and said, you shall have a progeny, you shall have a son. So the blessings come through uh, amazing ways uh, if we extend our life in hospitality. In the first Peter this morning we had a beautiful retreat uh, focused on stewardship and, and all its implications and discipleship. Brother Jim Golka from Grand Island, uh, great uh, retreat preacher and master. So for, uh, in the first Peter chapter 4, a beautiful line there, he says, be hospitable to everyone and stop complaining. <laughs> yes, be hospitable. Be hospitable. Uh, let your love be intense. You know, let, you, let your love for the other be intense. And uh, that hospitality be without any complaints in a gracious way if you offer to the other that God's gift and God's grace will come to us in uh, more powerful ways. We know that uh, there were almost, uh, there were 613 laws that were strictly practiced by the Jewish nation, Jewish, Jewish people. And they were meticulously practicing the Sabbath and everything had a law and they, they codified the law. And their behavior was actually uh, regulated and controlled by this 613. And that is why the, when they couldn't really get through Jesus and make him look bad in any way. So he, he cut through the chase, finally asking the question of the gospel today, of work, you know, which is the greatest of commandments? And there Jesus comes out in a beautiful way, says that, you know, the greatest is to love your God, uh, all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. And, uh, and then love your neighbor as yourself. This whole 613 summarized into two, so rather Jesus made it easy. In fact, it's not that easy. <laughs> we know that we easily forget those things. Although Jesus made it easy, but we forget and then we don't quite keep that in our hearts when we conduct our affairs and our day. That's where the Lord reminds us again. So if we really keep uh, those principles in our heart, we know that uh, uh, that our love will increase, our love will be intense, and love for each other will be growing in double measure, in greater measure. So that's uh, the Lord's message for us this week, uh, especially to pay attention to the core message, core message of, uh, of uh, loving God. The psalm explains why should we love God? The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. I love the Lord because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock and refuge. When everything gets to falter and crumble down, we find many people wake up to the reality of God's presence, wake up to the reality of God's strength. But sometimes if that breaking down is necessary, it seems. But we are more conscious, we are more aware, and therefore live our life as our ultimate strength is indeed the Lord. As a beautiful line goes, uh, we don't know what tomorrow holds, but we know who holds it tomorrow. You know, as we live in uncertain time, as we live in uh, where we don't know the conclusions of solutions of pandemic, we don't know. So we have uncertainty, but even in uncertain times, if we are sure of the one who holds our life, holds our tomorrow, we know we can live our life always with a greater confidence, greater love, and greater hospitality. 
and then that will help us to be open to the other. For the Jim was sharing a beautiful story which kind of strike the chord. He says while he was in a Burger King line and then uh, when his turn came, the, the waitress said, you know, the lady who was giving it said, you're already paid off. Your meal is paid off. And he said he thought he maybe because of his collar or being a priest. Uh, so he says, because I'm a priest now. You know, it's because of the previous line doesn't know who come behind. And that was paid off. And then she looked at him as if maybe you have to pay the next one. <laughs> pay it forward, right? That pay it forward uh, part of it. And he said, he looked at back, that was actually, you know, a van with the four or five people. That would be triple time expensive. <laughs> but still, he said, that is the invitation from the Holy Spirit. Opened up and, and then paid and instead of 10, maybe 43, and then found that there was a student on the line behind who didn't have any money. So that's the way God works in our lives. No, and then that person also paid off and felt that, wow, that gift is coming from God. So when you have the least, you feel the last, you feel the best. Many a time when you feel the least in our hearts, that God just brings you resources and strengths and people and and, uh, and the answers comes on our way. As I said last time that you met a man who was sick. Uh, he said, you know, although I'm funny outside, I go through a lot of pain inside. But I know that uh, ultimately the Lord who gives, will give, give, give me answers to all my pains, all my questions. Although he was in, in a heart attack situation. So those are uh, the ways where the faith comes alive to us when you feel the least, or when you feel the last, when you feel the lost. That way the Lord reminds us that I am compassionate, I am all loving, and then my spirit is in you, and you in turn show that love and show that hospitality, show that generosity of your heart, and your life will be doubly blessed. Please rise. I believe in one God, God Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, was substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who is the of the Virgin Mary, he became man. For our sake he is crucified as well as Pilate. He suffered death for us and rose on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the one who Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and absolute Church, I think Christians and baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Placing our trust and deep confidence in God, let us offer our petitions. Our response is, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Johnson, and pastoral leaders and preachers, for dedicated liturgists and educators. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For patient peacemakers and negotiators, for compassionate leaders and honest lawmakers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For widows and orphans, for the abused and the abandoned, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who live with chronic illness, 
for all impaired by addiction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all members of this assembly, for all their loved ones who have died, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and that they will, will soon take their place at the heavenly banquet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember Gary Drake, whose intention we honor at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. To the pray for favorable weather as, as the winter season sets in, so the Lord may bring peace uh, to, the, to the climate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Ever loving and gracious Lord, we come before you. For the needs within our hearts, that you grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your great mercy you send us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your holy name. Therefore, O Lord, I humbly we implore you, for the same Spirit to graciously make holy this gifts you have brought you for consecration, and may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night he was betrayed, and he himself took bread. Giving me a thanks, he said the blessing. He brought the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to your disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, death O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, by recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, be filled with the Holy Spirit, and may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that you may obtain the inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Joseph and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your loving presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, William, a bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your great compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, you can administer your kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
receive his command and from divine divine teaching we dare to pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, safe from our distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where they live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to send under my roof, for release the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Yeah. 
announcements for the weekend. Uh, our famous daily chicken dinner will be on next Sunday. That will be on November 1st. Boy, it's the next month. <laughs> Time is flying. That will be from 11 uh, a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So it will be pick up early, but you can drive in and runners will be there. All preparations are underway and so it will be a very successful and appreciate all your support. Uh, Due to the protocols, so the venue of the chicken winner will be will be here. It used to be at uh, St. Albert's. Uh, so silent auction and online auctions are already on. Raffles are being we already set up. So if, uh, if you'd like to bring baskets or donations for auctions, you still bring. There are baskets already available. You can look at them and then uh, take one home. Just drop something. <laughs> There's a price set there as an intended donation. So. Uh, appreciate your cooperation and it will be a great Thanksgiving gift for your family or your friends. Because it happens from 11 to 2.30 p.m., the Spanish Mass is moved from noon to 2. So that is the adjustment we had to make in order to adjust the parking lot and the protocol. So, so people are making sacrifices to make it successful and then so uh, cooperate and then make it uh, make it easier. The adult or the parents meeting will be on this Wednesday for the family faith formation. It will be via Zoom or in person. It will be at the Cabrini room. So therefore, uh, 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. So it will be a 90 minutes session. I'll be leading that. Uh, parents who are part of it, please join. Thanks to uh, stewardship team and Deacon Mondi and and all others who are part of the stewardship team will really pre prepare a, a two days retreat. 
and along with the meals and uh, beautiful uh, uh, for the Jim Golka was the leader, a great time of grace for the whole parish. When someone receives grace, that's a benefit of all. That's where you feed that strength and grace uh, comes to all of us. Some of you may have seen online or the video will be put out. Uh, Kevin uh, will put it out. Uh, so anybody wants to still be part of it, you can watch online and then also take a, take a brief time of retreat and uh, revitalizing a spirit and soul. Let us pray. May your heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we pray perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science we may one day possess in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Also reminded to the confirmation parents so that will be a retreat happening uh, also tomorrow uh, between 11 and 5. And also at the same time, the first communion parents meeting also taking place tomorrow. All things together. So we are to the initial kickoff for all those meetings, so please watch the time and be there. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God's love.